Okay, it's um, it's Saturday, June fourth, twenty twenty two. Saturday morning. I smelled this. I started smelling it around eight thirty a.m. But then I uh, it takes me a few minutes to get dressed and um, to come down here. So it was most likely stronger at around 8.30. And, um, okay, this is 255 West 43rd Street in Manhattan, 10036. This is the laundry room. That's the laundry room attendant doing her crossword puzzle. That's, you can see my reflection in there. Be careful. Oh boy. It goes way, oh fuck. It goes down several flights. I don't even want to think. Um, getting close to that. Um, so laundry room. Um, here. It's called the Times Square managed by breaking ground. They won't help us with this. Uh, so, um, I live up there, if you can see the, I live right up above this, the apartment above this air conditioner here. I live up one flight above that. And then, um, this is John's Pizzeria here, the back. This is the south wall. Here's their stained glass windows. And uh, Here's the smoke again from John's Pizzeria, 260 West 44th Street. Oh, you can see. Oh, I just saw a little. See the smoke here on these twin chimneys? So let me go back here. So the problem is, see this this building, all the apartments, see that this building here on 8th Avenue, the apartments on, on our, on the left, the apartments to the left that belong to Times Square Hotel, all of the apartments below this building, it, the, the smoke just kind of settles here all day. So, a friend of mine, I call him the grumpy comedian. Um, okay, this is mezzanine. One, two, three, wait, let me see. So, mezzanine, one, two, to carry that over yeah I think that's his apartment three oh three oh no and that would be three oh five three oh four you can't see it it's black here Okay, you see that pigeon up there? Uh, that's his apartment. He's now 303 Gary Roth. He's in the hospital now. 
He's got esophageal cancer. I think it's from the smoke that when you're here, that you don't have the same ventilation that you do up higher. So I'm up on the sixth floor and I keep my windows shut. And uh, so let's go back here. Do we still have the smoke? Yeah, we still got the smoke up here. Oh boy, I should bring down the tripod for this. I have to remember. see that's making like a whole little it makes its own atmosphere see how the smoke comes over into the building now for years I would open up my window but then I realized that smoke gets in my apartment and stays in the apartment it's because kind of retarded on my part but so I do it from down here uh, to see just had it. That smoke is coming into here. See that? It's drifting into the building. And just, you know, it's very toxic. So, oh boy. I can only hold this. It's already eight minutes. I can only hold this another two minutes. going all the way up there. Very bad odor. See the smoke, it's going all the way up there. So it's, it's a building-wide issue. A lot, a lot of tenants just don't notice the, the smell. It's just, they've just kind of, it's like you don't notice the sound after a while. It's just kind of, but it, it does affect the whole building, especially on this side of the building.